Hello everybody, welcome back to the vlog. Um, welcome back to the channel. Good afternoon, good evening, good night, whenever you guys are watching this. Hope you had a good Christmas. Yeah. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Um, so, we're a little bit late on this video just because we were in England um, visiting some family. It was really good. Food was great. Ate a lot of treats. So, so yeah. Uh, but today's video is just a really quick one because we are doing the official time of the hourglass. Um, so every time we test it, it's like a few seconds different than what it was the time before. So this is going to be the official one. So um, we've gotten a time before where like one person could win, but then the next time we test it, another person could win. Like that's how down to the wire it's going to come. So uh, this is going to be the official running of the hourglass. Okay, here we go. Timer ready. Flipper ready. Yep. Three, two, one, flip. So in the meantime of waiting for this to run out. We're gonna answer a couple questions uh, that we got on the vlog um, a couple weeks ago. So one of the questions is, what meets will you be competing in this indoor season? Uh, so we both aren't competing too, too much this indoor season, just cause um, hopefully we both make um, worlds and they're really late. So we're just kind of planning on a really long season. So we don't want to compete too much. With that being said, um, we are doing two or three meets coming up, or one or two meets coming up in the next month. Um, so there is a meet in Toronto, uh, U of T, uh, and then there is Dawn Wright, which is at Western the week after that. And then we're both competing in Eastern Michigan yeah. for, we're not too sure well, I'm not too sure what events I'm going to do. Carol might I'll either do. just run a 60 or do a short approach triple. It's kind of like a glorified practice, but yeah, we kind of just want to train through the indoor season because our focus is peaking in essentially October, hopefully. Um, but at the same time, it is nice to still compete um, here and there just to kind of like get a better idea of where you're at because there's a lot of things in a competition that you can't necessarily simulate in practice. Exactly. And the next question is, can you explain uh, how your training for all the events looks like in a year? Um, is there blocks of like pole vault or hurdles or jump specific stuff? So my week is trying to do as many events as I can. And it pretty much stays the same throughout the whole year, with exception to a couple weeks of different things. So we usually go with, um, on Mondays, we will pole vault and do some speed. And then Tuesdays we'll throw, um, it just depends on which one needs the most improvement. And then uh, do some hurdles and stuff after that. Wednesday is a pretty good recovery day for me. Um, Thursday is kind of the same as the Tuesday. So we throw and then we'll do either long jump or high jump, just one of the jumping events. Uh, Friday, another kind of recovery work day. And then Saturday is the bigger uh, speed endurance, endurance days, lactic days. So we don't really go through just doing pole vault for a couple months and then just doing like throwing for a couple months. So it's just, you're trying to just to touch every event each week just so you kind of get the feel of it and you don't kind of lose grasp of what you're working on and stuff, so. But with that being said, I feel as though you guys do tweak things based on what your strengths are. So for example, like you do a lot more high jump than you do long jump because you're just a natural born long jumper and it doesn't need a whole lot of work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. The stronger events don't get touched as much, and then the weaker events we do a little bit more of just because you want to bring up your weaknesses and just hold on to your strengths. So it's looking about half done right now. Mm -hmm. 
so. So the second we said that we're gonna run this thing within the vlog and let you know, you, those of you who um, voted closer to an hour probably have realized that you're way off. Yeah. But thanks for entering. Yeah, for sure. It's, it is misleading. Like I don't even know how I would begin to guess on something like this. Um, but yeah, it's definitely not anywhere near an hour. Sorry. Sorry. Um, and we have one more question. Uh, how's your diet? Could you guys vlog about what you eat in a day with training? So we can definitely do a video like that for you guys. Um, kind of what we're planning on eating moving forward and such. And uh, see, this is, this is what's hard about doing all of this in one take. <laughs> <laughs> kind of get tripped up sometimes. Do you want to tell them about what your diet kind of looks like? Sure. I feel like um, I feel like it's running out, so I'm starting to get a little bit stressed that we're going to miss it while we're talking. So we'll keep an eye on it. Can you just bring the timer up, just so we're ready? Yep. Um, my diet isn't like super intense by any means. We just limit. Oh God, it's happening. What are we at? Oh, we still got a couple oh. more minutes. Yeah, we do. Never mind. We're fine. It's just moving so fast. Uh, we just, uh, this is hard to do in one day. <laughs> <laughs> We're used to having the ability to edit. Um, my diet in a nutshell is um, Saturdays are for the carbs. So Saturday is our treat day. I'm pretty sure we talk about this a lot. Um, that's when we really go ham and give in to all of our cravings. But throughout the week um, of training, we really just try to uh, eat like a balanced diet. Like it sounds very vague, but um, a lot of protein, not a ton of carbs especially if it's just a recovery day. Um, I've recently gone on the vitamin supplement train, so I can talk about that in a different vlog. Okay, it's really starting to okay, go. Now it's really starting to happen. Yeah. So if you guys are guessing around seven minutes. You're so in the running. You're in the running. So Six. we're sitting at 6.30 right now. You guys probably can't see that the camera's too far away. So now okay. we wait. We're at 640. 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. Time! 64874. Yep. There you have it. There you have it. So let's see who go. the grand prize winner is. I say it was 64874. Could be yours. So, according to the comments, it looks like the winner is Lena Sikowski. Lena Sikowski. If we're not saying your last name right, we apologize, but you are the grand prize winner of this backpack and all the treats inside. Um, so we're going to comment on your comment and uh, tell you how you can hit us up with your address and we'll mail this bad boy off. Yeah. So. Great job, Lena. Yeah. And thank you everybody yeah, for watching. Yeah, thanks everyone and... for participating. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Um, it was a little stressful when the comments first started to roll in and everything was over 45 minutes. Um, but uh, in the end, someone came within 10 seconds. So that's pretty impressive. Yeah. So that's it. Yeah. That's so all she wrote. Uh, if you have any questions for us, as always, leave them in the comments. Uh, sorry that we've been kind of MIA, but you're too busy eating fish and chips fish in and the chips. pub, riding the tube. Am I Australian? I can't tell. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Thanks again. See you guys later. Bye. Bye.